Hello fellow explorers of the unknown and mysterious. I'm your host Jamie and we're set to reveal a captivating cryptic landmark. It is a landmark with people believing that unlocking its secret will lead you to many potential places like parallel universes and some even believe it's a portal to the gods. Let's find out. Delving further into the secrets of the alchemist portal, it's essential to consider the broader historical context in which it was created. The Piazza Vittorio neighborhood where the portal stands is steeped in rich tapestry of cultural and historical significance. From ancient Roman roots to the Renaissance and beyond, this area has witnessed the ebb and flow of civilizations, leaving an incredible mark on the landscape. In examining the enigmatic figure of Massimiliano Palombara, we find a complex and multifaceted character whose passion for alchemy was but one facet of his illustrious life. His connections to the time's intellectual and artistic circles further deepen the intrigue surrounding the portal, suggesting a network of esoteric knowledge and pursuits that extend far beyond the confines of his private laboratory. Moreover, the architectural placement of the portal within the bustling Piazza Vittorio invites speculation about its intended role in the fabric of daily life. Was it a symbol of esoteric knowledge hidden in plain sight, or perhaps a marker for those initiated into the mysteries of alchemy? These questions only add layers to the mystery that shroud the alchemist portal, compelling us to consider its significance within the broader historical and cultural context of Rome. Returning to exploring the portal's architectural elements, we find ourselves drawn into a world of intricate symbolism and artistic expression. The convergence of various architectural styles and periods within the design invites us to consider the portal as a living testament to the cultural and artistic cross-currents of its time. As we scrutinize each carving and inscription, we uncover a rich tapestry of symbolism that hints at historic knowledge sought by its creator. The interplay of mystical symbols and their potential meanings continues to captivate visitors and researchers alike, inviting us to contemplate the enduring mysteries of the alchemical arts. The Latin inscriptions, which are rumored to contain recipes for transforming metals into gold, serve as a focal point for ongoing speculation and debate, adding yet another layer of intrigue to the portal's enigmatic allure. The profound depth of history and mystery contained within the portal's design reaffirms its status as a subject worthy of continued exploration and contemplation. Each new discovery only serves to deepen our fascination with its intricate layers of symbolism and the history enshrined within its stone walls. Amidst the ongoing debates among historians, a more nuanced picture of the portal's origins begins to emerge. The contested identity of its builders and the complexity of its construction period presents us with a mosaic of competing narratives and interpretations. These academic discussions, far from diminishing the portal's allure, serve to underscore the depth of the historical and scholarly inquiry that continues to surround it. As we continue to unravel legends surrounding the portal, new threads of intrigue emerge, weaving the tapestry of folklore and historical speculation. Accounts of overnight guests performing alchemical feats take on a new dimension when placed within the broader context of alchemical lore and the traditions of the time. The figure of the mysterious visitor who allegedly transmuted base metals into gold become a symbol of the enduring allure of the Philosopher's Stone and the quest for eternal wisdom. Furthermore, the contributions of renowned figures such as Giovanni Battista Pernesi to the study and interpretation of the portal symbolism offers a wealth of insight into the cultural and intellectual milieu at the time. Their perspective adds a nuance to our understanding of the portal, reinforcing its status as a focal point for the convergence of art, history, and historic knowledge. The main legend behind the Porta Alchema in Rome revolves around Massimiliano Palombara, who built the door in the late 17th century. The story goes that he met an alchemist at a dinner party who claimed to have successfully turned base metals into gold. The alchemist spent the night at the garden of Villa Palombara, Massimiliano's residence, and was seen leaving the next morning, leaving behind a trail of gold flakes and a sheet of paper containing his secret formulas. Unable to decipher the content of the sheet, Palombara decided to inscribe the formulas on the five gates of his villa, hoping that a knowledgeable passerby would reveal its meaning. The alchemical door, or the Porta Alchema, is the only remaining gate of the five original gates. Another version of this legend suggests that the door was created by Palombara as an access to his esoteric laboratory. It is also rumored that Palombara, along with other notable figures like Gian Lorenzo Bernini and Athanasius Kircher, were poisoned on November 28, 1680, for having revealed the secret formulas through the inscriptions on the gate. 
The door is adorned with curious symbols and inscriptions which are believed to be related to alchemy and other occult practices. The cryptic symbol above the doorway has fueled many theories and continues surrounding the door with mystery and occult beliefs. The third legend is that of Queen Christina of Sweden. The legend associated with Queen Christina in the Porta Alchema in Rome revolves around the shared interest in alchemy, occult practices, and the pursuit of knowledge. Queen Christina, who ruled Sweden from 1632 to 1654, was known for her unconventional ways, intellectual curiosity, and her fascination with ancient mysteries. After abdicating the throne in 1654, Queen Christina converted to Catholicism and moved to Rome. In Rome, she became a prominent figure in the intellectual and artistic circles of the time, and it is believed she had a close relationship with Palambara. The legend suggests that Queen Christina and Palambara were part of a group of people known as the Alchemist of Palazzo Riario. The group was interested in alchemy, occult practices, and the pursuit of knowledge. Queen Christina's interest in alchemy and her connection to the Porta Alchema is further supported by the fact she was educated like a prince, receiving instruction on politics, the arts, languages, and several pursuits deemed masculine at the time. In her autobiography, she expressed her admiration for Queen Elizabeth I of England, who was known for her interest in alchemy and the occult practices. The legend of Queen Christina and the Porta Alchema adds to the mystique and the allure of the door, making it a fascinating piece of history that offers a glimpse into the world of 17th century alchemy and occult practices. Another legend we will cover is the statues guarding the door. The two statues seemingly guarding the alchemist's door are a later addition. They are of the god Bess, an ancient Egyptian deity of war. The statues are believed to have been added during the 19th century when the door was moved to its current location in Piazza Vittorio. The statues are often associated with protecting the alchemical secrets and knowledge that the door is believed to hold. Some believe that the statues were built to hint as this being a doorway to the gods. You just need to know the right spell or the highest knowledge of alchemy to open it. The final theory we will cover is somewhat similar to the previous, except the door will not send you to the gods, but a parallel universe. Many believe that the technology and magic from ancient times were so powerful that the elite kept them to themselves. They removed any real evidence of it from history and hid the secrets far away. They believe that the same magic and technology were used to build the pyramids and other impossible architecture at the time. Could magic exist, and if so, do only the elites have it to use? If so, we will probably never know. As we conclude our journey through the labyrinth streets of history and legend, the legacy of the alchemist portal looms larger than ever. Our expanded exploration has shed new light on the historical context, delved deeper into the architectural intricacies, and navigated the realms of academic contention and popular myth. Each layer of mystery only serves to enrich our understanding of this enigmatic monument, leaving us with a renewed sense of wonder and curiosity. In bidding adieu to this enigmatic portal, we are reminded that the joy lies not merely in unraveling its secrets, but in embracing and enduring the allure of the unknown. As we continue to traverse the landscapes of history and mystery, let us carry forth the spirits of endless curiosity, seeking not just answers, but the profound joy of exploration. Until our next mysterious escapade, may the allure of the unknown continue to inspire and captivate us all. Once again, I'm your host Jamie. Rumor has it that if you hit the like and subscribe button, you can open the portal and explore its mysteries. If you like this video and want some more mysterious content, click the video right here.